Hello, John Fitch here. I was asked by some people in, my, in the comments to uh, do some training videos. So I thought I'd uh, do maybe a little series of uh, some training stuff, basic stuff that I like to do. Um, today, I want to cover um, a basic lift that I, I call part of my uh, core lift series. And um, these are you know, basic lifts that I, uh, I think are important to keep you strong and, ath and athletic in uh, sports like wrestling, uh, jiu-jitsu, and MMA. Um, uh, a big part of them is to, uh, to get the strength where I need it without wearing my body out so that I can uh, continue to train when I need to, how I need to. Um, you know, it's not good to just lift a lot of heavy weights and, uh, and continue to pile up other workouts on top of that. It's hard to recover. So I like to focus just on some uh, core lifts. So one of the core lifts I like to do is uh, um, a Russian deadlift or a stiff leg deadlift, um, depending on what you like to call it. Um, this is a great lift for your hips. Um, shot defense, sprawling. There's a lot of hip power generated here. Um, also, it will help with punching power, uh, kicking knees. Um, your, uh, your hips are your motor. Right, that's the biggest muscle group. That's what does the most work. So it's important that that group is strong and as strong as it can be. Um, so this is a great lift to help strengthen that. Um, if you're not a competitive athlete, um, this is a great for uh, building your butt, getting your butt bigger. For this version of the deadlift, I stand with my feet shoulder width apart, and my hands placed on the bar just outside my knees. I keep my legs stiff with a slight bend in them while maintaining a slight arch in my back and pulling back on my shoulders to spread my chest, pushing my hips through the exercise. After you've done enough reps with light weight to warm up, go ahead and start putting more weight on the bar. So, um, with stiff leg deadlift or the Russian deadlift, um, technique is of the importance, right? You got to make sure that you're keeping your back locked in the right position. Um, you're doing everything right and tight. Uh, if you don't, you could get injured, right? You could get injured really badly um, because this is a heavyweight uh, exercise, right? This isn't something that you just um, do a few light sets of whatever. This is something that you're really wanting to dig into and get heavy on. Um, you want to really try to build that hip strength, right? When uh, push comes to shove and you're defending that double leg, you want to know that you can drive through that guy with your hips, right? This is the lift that's going to give you that uh, ability to just smash three guys with your hips. Um, so it, knowing that it is a heavyweight uh, lift, make sure you get your technique down right first before you start adding up weight. Um, and then I don't have talcum powder, so I use, I use wrist straps um, to help hold onto the bar because um, if you're doing it right, you should be putting on enough weight that it, gets started to, it starts getting hard to, hit, uh, hard to hold, right? Um, especially if you're doing a lot of other uh, grip training like um, grappling. If you're doing a lot of grappling, sometimes your, your wrists are already worn out from that. It's hard to hold on to a, a heavy bar. So <clears throat> I don't mind cheating with the wraps. Okay, so I, uh, I get warmed up with like one set, two sets. Um, I usually do sets of anywhere between six to 15 reps, um, depending on how uh, deep into my camp I am or, or if I'm just trying to tone or strengthen, you know, weak areas, whatever. Um, and I'll do uh, anywhere to four to, four to 10 uh, sets, right? So six to 15 reps, four to 10 sets of those. Closer I get to uh, like fight camp or in the fight or close to the fight um, those those numbers come down uh, a lot so 
um, I don't want to, I don't want to burn myself out um, before I have to train other stuff. So um, I ease back on the uh, lifting as I get closer to the fight date. Um, I fought, you know, this last month, so um, <clears throat> I'm getting back into lifting now, and I'm doing uh, more reps, more sets. Movement is a really good movement for your uh, um, your shot defense, right? Your uh, your sprawl. When guys get in on the legs, and you got to bring them hips forward, you got to battle with your hips. This is going to help with that strength. So, if you got a weak wrestling game. Get on your uh, your Russian deadlifts and um, get to wrestling practice.